What's cracking, everybody? Welcome to another break night. Now, before we begin, please do us a big favor. Give us a nice thumbs up if you're enjoying what you're watching. Vote in the poll at the top of this video here. Let us know what you thought of this break and comment down below and tell us which card we pulled tonight you thought was the hit of the night. Now, let's crack some wax! Happy Saturday, everybody. It is the 1st of June. Oh my gosh, this year is almost halfway over already. I can't believe it. June is a big month. Welcome, everybody, to Crack and Wax. I'm your break host and resident wax cracker. My name is Christopher, and uh, we are doing finally, after three weeks of trying to get this dang thing filled, we're doing a full case of 2019 Panini Prism Baseball. We're also doing at least one box of Definitive Collection. We might be doing the second box. We do have six spots left in that one, so if you are interested in watching us crack open a second box of De uh, Definitive Collection, just head on over to crackandwax.com shop. You'll notice at the top of the video here, we are also uh, selling some other spots too. We've got Luminance next week, 27 spots left there. WNBA, three spots left. Uh, that's gonna be at the end of the month though. Uh, I figured that one would be more of a slow sell, so we started that one early. Finest is next week. We've got a half case, three spots left there. We also do have a couple of triple team hybrids. Not many spots left in there. The first one, we've got three left. The second one, I believe we have two left, so. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. A full case of Panini Prism, at least one box of Definitive Collection, and LQ just, just got in in the nick of time. LQ's here. She just came in from a run. Uh, from a run. How's it, how was the run? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to see my, my distance here? What was your distance? 5.24 miles. Oh, didn't run you didn't run the whole thing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's, okay, let's, here. let's pop up the chat room and say hello. Okay, move over a little bit. Uh, need, this is as far as I can move. I need more mic. I see we've got DZ, we've got Scott, we've got Tyler. I know I saw Debbie in here earlier. Uh, Stefan was in there as well. What's going on, everybody? Nice. Hello, everybody. Good to see everybody. So uh, let's turn a couple of these things off here. All right, perfect. Should I turn on the the, the, the cam so everyone can see your no. grinning face? No, she doesn't want to be shown on screen. I look like a big old ball of sweat. That's <laughs> what happened here. Tyler says, sup, LQ? Sup, Tyler. Well, now, <clears throat> LQ is very happy that we're finally uh, going to be getting through. I'm so sick of this product. Yeah, and I, I'm not I'm not going to lie. This, this was... Uh, we're taking a hit on this one. It, it took quite a bit of us, as many of you know, took quite a bit of effort to get this filled. But uh, David H swooped in and picked up the last three spots to get this thing filled up today. So thank goodness for Scott, uh, for, for David and Scott. <laughs> thank goodness for David. Um, not sure if you're in the chat room, David, but uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, now, of course, one of those things that we tried to do to get this thing filled was give away a box of Bowman Mega. And the final six spot owners will be getting this. Well, one of the final six spot owners will be getting this, I should say. Lions fan is here too. What's going on, Lions fan? Anyhow, so we will be deciding our Mega Box winner after we've gone through the entire case, but just uh, just so that uh, we're not forgetting about this, someone is going to be winning this mega box as promised. I do also want to let you folks know that this case, since it sold out today, uh, will still be going towards May's charity drive, which was Jed Foundation for Mental Health Awareness Month. We raised $144 in charity on this case alone. Yeah, we're taking a hit on it, but we're still giving $144 in charity to Jed Foundation. Elke, do you know how much what, uh, we raised in May? No, I don't know. 
you wax crackers are awesome. We didn't even break that much in May, and we are still going to be able to send out $350 to Jed Foundation for May. I was actually talking to Scott before we went live that our next free box break isn't going to be anywhere uh, near the <laughs> uh, expense, I'll just say, of the last one, just simply because we didn't do that many uh, breaks in May. But even though we didn't do that many breaks in May, we were still able to uh, raise 350 bucks. So, so yeah, thank you very much, everybody, once again. The other big announcement is now that it is June 1st, I got to let everyone know, our Allen and Ginter charity event is fast approaching, and we are looking for prize pack donations. If you have anything that you think someone would want to win, you can help sponsor that charity prize pack. Just donate. The thing that we have behind the case here was donated before. The big thing that says, keep cracking that wax. That was donated by Deb P. Deb, you actually won that and donated it back to us. But that's that's <laughs> that was one of the prizes in one of the last prize packs. I, David H. won the first prize pack. We had boot we had... Oh, she just said strong work, Chris. And it's, yeah. <laughs> I did that off the screen so you couldn't see how embarrassing that was. But... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Richie's here too. Hey, Richie. Bring on the awesome donations. That would be great. It would help us. And that's one of the big, uh, the big features of the Ginter event is that um, the big charity prize pack that we put together um, from donations by you wax crackers, you folks who are in our group sending us things. Someone sent us a, a Chris Bryant rookie autograph to throw into a charity prize pack. That's the kind of thing that we bundle together and one person wins the entire thing. We already have some sponsorship uh, items. Uh, we've got something from Blowout Cards. We've got something from DCW, I believe. Uh, Ultra Pro, I think Tops is sending something as well. But it's the items that are sent by you collectors that the people are most interested in and are really the most interesting i think is really the fun part of it so we are accepting those donations up until july so please get those sent in if you have uh, something you want to send to us just uh, reach out to me via email or dm me on twitter we'll get you the appropriate address to send that stuff to uh my nephew caden i think was that caden yeah, yeah caden says he's watching hello caden hey, Caden and Chase are in this break, so he's watching intently. Brewers and Twins. Brewers and Twins, that is correct. Uh, checking in, but at, uh, at the coast for the weekend. In and out, that's Dub. Oh, Dub, he wins. <laughs> All right, folks, so I suppose we better get this case cracked open. I'm going to pull down the chat room and put up the team overlay. The teams, of course, this is a PYT break. So all the teams have already been decided. We don't need to do any kind of uh, randomization of any sort. That's how it is. But we do have some, we do have some uh, hobby royalty in this break. We've got uh, my nephews, our nephews, Caden Chase. We've got David H, Mika. We've got Top Shelf Chris. If anyone's ever joined Top Shelf's breaks, uh, he's got uh, he's got the angels in this one. I thought Dub was in this one. Apparently not. Uh, Alex O. Yeah, I thought he was too. Uh, Alex O, who's an old school uh, wax cracker. Mad Glab Smoltz. Deb U, of course. Dame Debbie. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We've got lots of awesome wax crackers in this one. So we're we're happy to get this uh, broken. And Elfie's happy to get this done with. Because she doesn't ever want to hear the word prism ever again. Now, I can't guarantee I won't ever say the word prism again. See, here's, here's the thing with uh, prism. Is... My gut told me that when this came up as a baseball product again, that I had to jump on this. I don't know why that is, but I just, but I shouldn't have listened to my gut on this one because, because Listen to my gut. what Panini doesn't really seem to understand and what I should have understood better is that baseball collectors generally aren't interested in their baseball products unless it's prospect driven or high-end. Prism doesn't really work with anything unless it's football or basketball. Now, why did I do it like that? I don't know why I do the things that I do. I'm trying to keep everything on camera on this tiny freaking desk without ruining anything. Oh, I know, Elk is oh. Oh, you're waking me nervous. Do you want me to hold something? Nope, I gotta keep everything on camera. 
Everything's staying on camera. Why do I do the things that I do? <laughs> in any case, Prism works much better as a football and basketball product. There we go. Hey, that didn't. Hey, that wasn't so bad. I need someone else that wasn't to so come bad. In come on. And help me take on some eye rolls. <laughs> of course, Panini Prism Baseball was a product that we did, and we've talked about this in the past before. That uh, we hated it because it was, you know, powder gate, <laughs> basically. All right, team overlay is gonna uh, come down. I'm gonna put the chat room back up, and we are gonna crack that wax. Box number one. This is gonna be the first bit of 2019 Prism Baseball, and probably the last. Yeah, so if it's not a if it's not a high end, and if it's not a prospect driven product, I think people would rather do Topps Chrome. Oh, I, you're both, you're getting from yeah, I think I got their their names uh, wrong. So let okay. me let Correction. me let me correct the team board. My my nephews are telling me I put their names in the wrong spot. So let's fix that. Yeah, you had told me that Chase had the colors. Thanks for letting us know. We'll get it fixed. So Caden actually has the Brewers. Chase as the twins. Get that fixed. We will crack that wax. All right, that should be better. Let's put that back up. I've got Chase with the twins. Caden with the Brewers. All right, there we go. Let's crack it. Gonna be lots of cards to sort. Yeah, that's right. 12 boxes in a case. 12 packs per box. 12 cards per pack. And we are not in the dining room table. So we won't be, we won't be sorting while we're breaking. So the very first Prism card of the year, Scooter Jeanette. And these are, you know, these are the same old, same old prism type of cards that you would see in any other sport, except there are, of course, no logos <laughs> to speak of. Of course, I do love their parallels. Luis Castillo, Jeff McNeil. You do have a blue of Chris Archer, Jacob DeGrom. These are awesome. David Fletcher, Edwin Diaz, Wilson Ramos, and Dwayne Underwood. So we'll be fly uh, flying through these a bit faster than that. I just like to kind of look at them real quickly. Uh, we are going to be looking for three autographs per box on average. We could potentially find some hot boxes that have more. So they do a real good job with their different types of prism parallels. And the cards do look gorgeous. The, you know, the thing that's really killing them is the lack of MLB license, especially when you've got choices out there. If, if people want uh, this type of card, there's a nice Mookie Betts insert, numbers game. They might go with one over the other. And the thing that's kind of hurting this a little bit is that people would expect that Panini products would be a little bit cheaper because they don't have the MLB license. This case, buy it on uh, Blowout for like 1500 And you wouldn't think that it should be. There's Miguel Sano, Instant Impact, Ozzy Albies. We've got some nice looking cards here. Still looking for that first autograph, Fireworks, Aaron Judge. LQ is awfully quiet. Yep. <laughs> What's going on over there, LQ? Now that I, I did, 
did mention that this is uh it's June. There's a Jose Ramirez scorching insert. And that means it's a birth month for quite a few people. One being LQ. One being you. The other being me. We were born 29 years ago. So I haven't seen any autographs just yet. Here might be the first one. Brad Keller, Royals. Rookie autograph. Royals going to PR Nuts. That's Scott P. That's not bad looking at all. It is not bad looking at all. Mike Trout. So they're uh, asking if I'm missing any numbering. Uh, notice with that autograph card, the numbering is on the back side. So I haven't looked on the back for any numbering yet. I'm going to guess that we've gone through some numbered cards, but uh, we will take a quick look here. There's another one. Luis Ortiz, 54 of 75 for the Orioles. Another nice autograph. Orioles going to Mr. Ginter. Congrats, Mr. Ginter. A nice insert of Jose El Tuve. Oh yeah. I actually thought of a few things this time. I've got <laughs> I've got a garbage bag. I've got space for things. Brilliance Max Scherzer. This is kind of a funny looking. I, and when I saw this on the sell sheet, the zebra stripe uh, prism. I'm like, okay, they're, they're reaching a little bit on that one. But. <laughs> All right, LQ is going to de sweat herself from her five mile walk jog run. See you in a little bit, LQ. Don't be afraid to bring down an, an adult beverage. <laughs> Blue prism of Ryan Barucki, uh, illumination of Clayton Kershaw. A couple packs to go. One more autograph to look for. Scorching Walker Bueller, Kettle Marte. Silver prism of Blake Snell. It's a good silver prism to have. Final pack. Should have an autograph in it. Here we go. Cedric Mullins, another Orioles autograph. Going to Mr. Ginter. Two for three. And a Lumber Inc. of J.D. Martinez. Just gonna look in the back of these cards. Yep, these are numbered. Yeah, they're just all numbered on the back. So this J JT Rail Muto is 35 of 35. So as we're sorting, I'll kind of, you know, I'll, I'll shout out on Twitter if we notice anything that's super low numbered, but that was box number one. The zebra is the number to 50. Okay, cool. Very nice. I'm gonna set my stack aside and we'll get to box number two. And uh, while we got you here, you may notice we've got a different setup, and I'll, I'll put up the uh, the cam here. Also, to celebrate the fact that we're doing panini, I've got my <laughs> my shirt on. What are your thoughts on the new setup? Change the chat room around a little bit. Uh, the text should be easier to read, I hope. And we've got the scroller bar on top, and I've got, I hope I have it timed out so it's not too distracting. But uh, please let me know what you think. I'd like to make little tweaks here and there. And a big shout out, of course, to Blowout Cards for always offering us a little bit of a discount on our cases. They would have had to have given us like the largest discount in the world to keep us from <laughs> losing money on this break, but 
You know what? I count myself lucky. There are people, and I, 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 I don't know how they do this, but there are breakers out there who either group break or or break in volume who had to, you know, they get allocated like five plus cases and end up having to drop, you know, how many of them at a loss. So I count myself lucky. Nice idea to have a shirt on. Yeah, I thought I thought that'd be a good idea to be dressed for this one this time. And we're going to start off with a Steven Duggar base autograph for the Giants. <laughs> uh, the Giants are going to miss Mika. Mika, Mika. Congratulations on the silver prism, Steven Duggar Auto. I said it was base at first, but now I'm noticing this is totally silver. Is the top bar scroller distracting? Tried to time things out up there so it wasn't running the entire time. Chris Sale Brilliance. So yeah, the Zebras. Now that Zebra is numbered to 99. So this uh, John Camargo is 76 of 99. So something else must have been numbered to 50. It at least isn't that particular one. For those watching us on Twitch and Breakers TV and Periscope, how's it going, folks? All chat rooms except for Breakers should be attached, so sorry to those folks in Breakers who are trying to chat with me. Uh, fireworks, Jose Ramirez. I always feel bad people are chatting in there and I'm not chatting back. But... Um, our streaming setup here doesn't allow for Breaker's chat room. And I think it's because they use Flash as their chat server, which is just too bad. Got to get with the times, I think. Cedric Mullins, Illuminator, Aaron Judge. Yeah, these are awesome looking cards. I, I have nothing against this product other than it was priced too high and I don't know I think there's just too much going against it but yeah brilliance Max Scherzer now next week we're uh, doing a full case of Panini Luminance football football is something that they they really know how to do and I'm really looking forward to luminance Springer, Stargazing Mookie Betts, Kirby Puckett. You're not going to see Kirby too often in Topps products. So what's uh, June looking like for everybody that's in the chat room here? Danny Jansen autograph. This is also a silver prism. A little off the sticker, though. This is for the Blue Jays. Blue Jays are going to Andy C. Congratulations, sir. June's pretty busy for us. Not just uh, crack and wax wise, but just in general. So we both have a birthday. Our sister-in-law has a birthday. Um, my grandmother has a birthday. Stargazing Shohei Otani. A lot of people I work with have a birthday. It's graduation season, although I don't think I know anyone that's graduating. Although I know three kids who had their last day of school yesterday. I thought that was the same... I thought that was the same card for a second. Severino and Berea. <laughs> Newcomb. There's our snake skin. The snake skin is numbered to 50. 23 of 50, Ryan O'Hearn. I think, Scott, you said you were grilling out today. 
be a nice idea over here. But speaking of luminance, I just love the way that looked last year. Glad I did those couple of boxes from 2018. Did that a few weeks ago. Real nice product. And we are diving into a full case. Pre-sale is up currently $20 per spot. Just pay the rest when I send you an invoice. Very surprised no one took the Cardinals yet. But I suppose people are waiting to see if uh, Kyler Murray uh, is actually going to be in the product. I would assume he is. There is our autograph, Tim Beckham. That is a pro penmanship for Baltimore. Another Orioles autograph going to Mr. Ginter. And that's box number two. Here comes box number three. The definitive collection box break that we've got going on later. Of course, I didn't know it at the time when I put them up. That's because the checklist wasn't out yet. But uh, the Marlins got completely skunked out. There are zero Marlins cards on the checklist, and that's, I hate when manufacturers do that. Like you can't find, you know, an Ichiro card to make or something for the Marlins at least, but I don't know, it happens. There's a Yusei Kikuchi Silver, the Mariners. But uh, we will hook up that Marlin spot with a little something extra. We'll just kind of wait and see what happens to that spot. If they get paired up with someone that gets, you know, a bunch of hits, then we'll still hook you up. But if you end up with a team that gets absolutely, absolutely skunked out, then of course you're going to get hooked up with a bit more. Don't want to leave anybody high and dry. Fireworks, Jose Altuve. But we will be doing that first box following this case. We do have the potential of doing a second box. So if you are interested in doing a second box, we've got six spots left. Oh boy, check it out. We've got ourselves a redemption. We'll put that right up here. And you know what that means, folks. It means it's time to call your shot. So we're gonna give you a little bit of time. First person to correctly guess the redemption wins a random prize. And you must have an account at crackamax.com in case that prize happens to be wax bucks. All right, we're gonna put the clock up. You can barely see it there, but it is 5.30. We will give you till 5.32 p.m. our time to make your guesses. And go! Grizz says, Vladdy. Deb says Otani. 
Scotty says Tatis. Tyler says Nick Martini. Mika says Kikuchi. Anybody else in the chat room? Of course, this has to be the YouTube chat room. I'm sorry to those in Twitch or <laughs> Periscope trying to make guesses. Or breakers, obviously, since your chat room cannot be connected. Any other guesses? Richie says, Judge. All right, it is 5.32 our time. Guesses are now closed. Let's continue on, and then we will find out who that redemption is. Now, I will have to turn the card around when we get there because I don't want to accidentally give away any codes. All right, behind Eniel De Los Santos is the redemption. Two thousand nineteen Panini Prism Game Ball Graphs Card number thirteen Aaron Judge Richie called it Nice Nice call Firstly The Yankees we're going to Grizz, so Grizz, you get the Aaron Judge redemption. And Richie, now we're going to spin the wheel and see what your prize is. Here we go. You got 25 wax bucks, Richie. Congratulations. We will deposit that later on. It's the first time uh, anyone's correctly guessed. A redemption in a while so congratulations uh and lq wasn't here to see this she loves when we get to spin the wheel so congratulations my friend grizz with the judge of course grizz has had good luck with yankee spot especially in panini products with us <laughs> all right let's move along Now let's just turn that off. All right, that'll be good. All right, let's continue on. Silver Prism of Daniel Ponce de Leon. Machines of Mookie Bats. Yeah, we got a good month coming up for Crack and Wax anyway. So, uh, as you know, we've got uh, Luminance next week as well as Finest. Finest we will for sure be breaking. Nolan Arenado, we've already filled. Oh, no, we haven't filled them, but I have a, I have a really good feeling we're going to have all three filled by next Saturday. Since there are only like a couple spots in each of them. Luminance has, like I said, 27 spots left. Later on in the year, we do have Series 2 coming up. Or year, I should say month. Austin wins another Orioles autograph. This is one of 99. So we've got the Zebra Print Austin wins Orioles auto. What is up with the Orioles in this case? Mr. Ginter once again scoring big. Come on, Orioles. Save some for somebody else. Some of these other teams need to start getting represented here.
And we've got a Dean Dietz, Astros, two of 25 auto. Ooh, look at that. Nice low numbered auto going to Turk. That's our third auto. Unless this is one of those hot boxes that have a few extra autographs. Which is possible. Yeah, they are, Mika. Now that we say that, that might be the that, that'll probably be the last Orioles auto we pull. So, but man, four is not bad for any team. Silver of Jeremy Jeffers. And you know what else I'm looking forward to, to opening is, I know we've only got two boxes coming, but Don Russ WNBA, speaking of Panini products, I don't really know any other breaker that's going to tackle that. Ronald Acuna Jr. numbers, numbers game, Miguel Sano. Another numbers game, Miguel Andujar. And a snake skin of Jaime Berea. That is 38 of 50. Final pack of box number three coming up. But um, my day job, I do I do actually work around a lot of uh, WNBA players up here. So I, to me personally, it's kind of cool that I get to break that product because I you know, obviously recognize some of the women. Fireworks, Nolan Arenado. And what I think is really interesting, <laughs> and I'm not trying to flex here. I, I'm honestly not trying to, but it's it's interesting to me that some of those players, for whatever reason, recognize you know puny, stupid little old me. So I think it's going to be a fun break. It's going to be an honor to do it. Box number four on the way. How you doing, folks? And we've got a Max Freed Prism Game Ball Graph. So that's what the Aaron Judge autograph is going to be kind of looking like. And that's going to the Braves. Braves going to Mad Glav Smoltz. That's Chris M. Apologies, Adam Jones and Mr. Ginter. Jack Flaherty, Cardinals. JD Martinez, numbers game. Fireworks, Mookie Betts. And believe it or not, I actually had a really fun time doing Pro Debut. I, I know that uh, Pro Debut is not really my jam. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we had a good time. It was fun. Patrick Wisdom, Rangers. 
Rookie Auto. That was one of the last spots to go. I think David H. got that, if I am not mistaken. Rangers. Yeah, David H. David and Ark. Picking up some last spot mojo. Sold this spot at, I think, 50% uh, off, too. Getting some good value there. Congratulations, sir. Hey, have a good time, Scott. I am super jealous that you are grilling. But uh, I'm down here playing with baseball cards, so uh, I'm not going to be too jealous, even though it is Panini Prison. <laughs> And Ryan Barucki, 5 of 10, super low numbered gold rookie autograph for the Blue Jays. Here we go. Blue Jays going to Andy C. I believe this is his second auto. Getting low numbered on us. Congratulations. Getting our autos early. I will do my very best, Scott. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining in, as always. Love having you here. Colby Allard, Silver Prism. Farmer Valdez, Silver, Prism. A couple of packs left, and then we will be officially one-third of the way through this case. Start with a Miguel Sano. Justice Sheffield, Blue Prism. Christian Yelich for the Brewers. Final pack of box number four. Mancini. All right, not a bad box. Not a bad box at all. Pull down the chat room just for a few minutes and let the break room breathe a little bit here. Donaldson, Kyle Schwarber, Silver of Matt Carpenter, Scorching Justin Brown.
There we go. Jonathan Loisega for the Yankees. Another big Yankees hit. 93 of 99. Zebra print. Going to Grizz. Well, that's a good one to hit. That and Judge. That's nuts. Congrats, Grizz. Jeez. Pulling some pretty decent autographs out of this case. Another snake. That one is Wade Boggs, 13 of 50 for the Red Sox. Grizz getting that absenteeism mojo or <laughs> however Waxtopia called it. Absentee mojo, yeah. Luis Severino, Silver Prism. Brilliance of Blake Snell. Silver of, or blue silver of Patrick Wisdom. Scorching. Gosh, I just love that. Those are my favorite types of prisms. Looking for two more autos. That Lorenzo Kane is four of twenty five for the Brewers. Nice low numbered Brewers card. Very short printed. Jake Cave for the Twins. Two more autos, two more autos to go. Silver of Jamie Berea, or Jaime Barria. <laughs> it's kind of like Sonny Michael, Sony Michelle. <laughs> One of them's gotta be right, right? Tuki to Saint, to Saint. What is my problem? Tuki to Saint, fourteen of seventy-five. That's a big one for the Braves. Maglav Smoltz. Two big ones out of this box. First Loy Sega for the Yankees, and then to Saint for the Braves. Dang, nice. Fourteen of seventy-five on that one. Should have an auto in this last pack. And we do. Luis Urias, are you kidding me? This is a huge box. Padres. What the heck? Non numbered. Big, anyhow. Padres was a late pickup. Dan B. Scoring the Urias. Goodness, this was a big time box. Wow. And now we've got a Jacob DeGrom number to 25. 24 25. This was a really good box. Jeez. Gary Carter. Silver Prism. Dang. What a box. This case has been really good. So Luis Urias, Tuki Toussaint, number to 75, Jonathan Loisiga, number to 99. What a box. Goodness. And no reaction from the peanut gallery. <laughs> 
Uh, this might be one of those breaks where people are just watching and or just listening. I I know plenty of people that just listen to the breaks. They listen to the breaks. They check in when they they hear something that uh, has something to, uh, something to do with them, and then then check out of the chat room. So doesn't make for a fun chat room, but it uh, it happens. After this box, we will be halfway done. And we've already done pretty darn well. Silver of David Ortiz. Tom Seaver sticking in there too, I saw. Gabriel Guerrero for the Marlins. 57 of 99 zebra print. Won't be getting any uh, Marlins hits in definitive collection, but we certainly got one just now in Prism. Going to David H. Getting some more last spot mojo. And then Steven Gonsalves for the Twins. A nice Twins autograph, non-numbered. Twins going to chase. Steven Gonsalves, a pitcher. And I happen to know for a, pa uh, for, uh, for a fact that Chase was pitching today. Congratulations, Chase. Now we got to get that. Well, there's a there's a nice Stephen Gonzalez card to go along with that. And that one uh, is numbered 397 to 399. Yeah, now we gotta, now we got to get some Brewers stuff going. Maybe Ben Tendi. Silver of Josh Donaldson. Snake skin. Reese McGuire, 5 of 50. Yeah, there's really good variety in the inserts and the parallels. Everything is designed well. Everything looks nice. And really, all that's missing yeah, are the MLB names and MLB logos and a bit more rookie content, I think. But uh, there's uh, Hunter Renfro, Silver. Well, actually, there's plenty of rookie content in here. I take that back. I don't know. Panini just has this allure of... Uh, well, allure is the wrong word, but they just... <laughs> People are just afraid of not getting anything because it's not licensed by the MLB. There we go. Luke Weaver. For the Diamondbacks. Game ball graph. Diamondbacks. Going to... 
and LQ's pointing to herself. She says she's getting it. Oh, hi, Abraham. <laughs> uh, d going to Alex O. Congratulations, Alex O. I feel like I haven't, I haven't called your name in a while. He is an OG. That's fine. Thank you, LQ. Yes, we, we hear you, Abraham. I know. It is. <laughs> We've actually had a pretty good uh, case so far, LQ. Well, she's walking away, and I will tell her. Yeah, I know. I will say this case, even though it stressed me out the last three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it stressed me out the last three weeks. I know Wax Tobia can attest to that. I think uh, Ty probably knows. Uh, this is performing a lot better than I expected. And after this pack, we will be officially halfway there. And that does it. So, our hits from this uh, box. Luke Weaver, Steven Gonsalves for Chase. And, hey, Chase got a hit. Yeah, and Gabriel Guerrero. Nice job. All right, folks, we are at the halfway point, so we're going to take just a second for a little bit of a breather. But uh, don't go too far away. We will be back with you in just a moment. We're back. LQ's here. Let's see. Uh, Chris C. Welcome, Chris C. So Chris C. is a, a, a brand new uh, Crack and Wax rookie. Welcome, Chris C. Hello, Chris C. Now, he's going to be in the definitive break later on. Um, as I mentioned, we are definitely doing one box of definitive tonight. Could possibly do a second. We do have six spots left. Let me check. Make sure. Oh, we've got a new order. So let me see. Is your little ding go off? My little ding went off and it made me happy. <laughs> Here's the next speaker. Uh, yeah, that would be. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me, uh, I'm going to turn on the, the cam here just so everyone can see. Does that light need to be on? Nope. Okay. Yeah, so everyone saw. I've got my, because we're celebrating Panini tonight. Oh, so let's see. We don't, let's see. Oh, no, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't for definitive, but. That was Zegris hopping on a bunch of uh, finest breaks. So those are just about full. Nice. So we do still have six spots left in the second box of Definitive Collection. So if you happen to want us to break a second box tonight, we can certainly do that. Just go over to crackandwax.com slash shop. Pick up a spot or two. There are dual team spots for the price of one. No one will have to worry about the Marlins, and everyone is in the running to get the Yankees random and into their spot. So one spot is going to have a bonus third team, which will be the Yankees. So consider that. If that fills, we'll do it tonight. I'm gonna break, uh, take this down so no one has to stare at me anymore. Dub says he's missed so much. He's gonna have to rewatch. Yes, you will. Uh, we've 
we've actually had a good case so far. We are halfway through, and we're going to keep trucking along. LQ is here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, with, with, with my hands, <laughs> just like I, I should have had the cam on for that. All right, we're here to poop a brick sideways. Let's <laughs> I'll let you do. I'll let you handle that. I shan't. You shan't. Well, let's 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 play around with this here. I'm gonna have the the laptop cam on for this. Now you can't see me pull the cards, but you can see the reaction on my face as I'm pulling them. Sometimes that helps. Does it? Thank you, LQ. You're She's gone from sorter extraordinaire to box putter in other box there. Yeah, I don't know. I think I got fired from sorting. I keep telling everyone. Are you demoted? Upstairs. Are you demoted? Thank you. <laughs> I'm handing her open wrappers to throw away. Literally the trash lady. The trash lady. Nice. Oh, boy. Yeah, and uh, while you were gone, we uh, had a redemption, and someone guessed the redemption and they won. Did. Yeah, it was a Richie S. Got himself 25 wax bucks. We'll be throwing that into his account later. Haven't pulled okay. any any points cards yet. Haven't pulled any uh, anything uh, shady like that. Got a Mitch Hanniger silver, a zebra print Sally Perez. 34 of 99 for those Royals fans out there. Speaking of Royals fans, Waxtopia, where are you, buddy? I know he's not in the break, but... Easy. Anyone in the chat room mojo tonight? Um, no, because no. it's not a thing. It is a thing, but it's not a thing. I don't think anyone in the chat room has hit anything yet. It's been chat room and uh, absentee mojo tonight so far. Now we've got an autograph of Bryce Wilson for the Braves. Another Mad Glass Smoltz. This is the snakeskin, numbered to 50. Yep, Mad Glass Smoltz picking up Bryce Wilson's snakeskin. Ooh, this is yeah. Is it powdery at all? It is not. But those were the cocaine cards. <laughs> I did not which is weird. You you would think that the powder would kind of dis decrease the static, but maybe it added it. It, it added it to made it. All of the um, stacks slide. Yeah. Off of each other. Yeah. Bad. But they learned. They learned. See, Panini can learn. Stephen Duggar. This is their. This is our second Stephen Duggar auto, but this time we've got a zebra print. Kind of. Even if it, Just like chat room. Uh, it's uh, half. <laughs> you think about that, and I'll just break these cards. I thought. <laughs> my seat. Okay. Albert Pujols Silver. Oh, and I didn't even tell you who the uh, redemption was for. Who was it? It was Aaron Judge. Oh, really? Yeah. Is he playing? Yeah. Yeah, I think he is, but he's still in. Oh, there she is. Mika. So it is Chat Room Mojo. It is Chat Room Mojo. Thank you, Mika. Is this Chat Room Mika? Chat Room Mika. There we yes. go. <laughs> so pretty much, Gigi called that that was going to happen. Hmm. So is that DZ Joe? DZ Joe? Joe? I, I like that. DZ Joe. Oh, I don't. It sounds geeky. Oh, come on. Ooh, I like this one. Looking for one more autograph. So we've got one snake skin. We've got one zebra print. Maybe we'll have a bear skin print. Or maybe a flamingo skin. Ooh, Flamingo, that's a good one, yeah. He'd been, in, he'd been in and out. I think he left. He said, well, he's on, he's living. He's living his life on the beach on the coast with his uh, Flamingo. Yeah, I know. I was actually looking for a zebra and a Flamingo last week. very sad. So DZ said something that didn't come through on my end, but... Um, as a breaker, I really wish they had a skunk emoji. Are you, like, seriously. <laughs> what about 
about just like a baseball card? They have a baseball, but they don't have... Yeah, but that's the closest thing. They don't have any of that stuff. Or a ball of wax. How do you emoji a ball of wax? Stick of gum. And Tim Beckham. Pro penmanship for the Orioles. I swear we've pulled this one already. This is our fifth Orioles autograph tonight for Mr. Ginter. Not that I'm mad about it, but I don't like dupe hits. <laughs> Did Mika miss her hit? Oh, I'll show it to her. Okay. I'll show it to her. That should have been our last auto of that box. Oops. CW does get a bit cranky when he pulls dupe hits because I like the I like the hits to be you spread to around. In the third person well, you refer to yourself as LQ. Not that's <laughs> what I'm talking. I don't say LQ's like in the break. <laughs> All right, so here's the recap of this box. Tim Beckham, pro penmanship. Steven Duggar, Zebra. Bryce Wilson, Snake. Yep. I pulled a Duggar already, but I think it was a different version of the Duggar. And I pulled that Beckham. I'm pretty positive. All right, got to take a little swig of my adult beverage. I got a couple of nephews that wish they had this. No, they only they really Not what's in it. Well, <laughs> like no bad chase, bad mm -hmm. Kaden. Bad Uncle Chris. Grandma. <laughs> well, maybe Grandma and Kathy can get him. Yeah. Them that for Grandma Wax. <laughs> Seriously, folks, what are your big summer plans? Uh, I know the Nationals are a pretty big thing for, for you folks in the summertime. Um, what else is happening with you folks this summer? Elkie wants to go to the Dells. No, we tossed that idea around for your birthday, but we're doing, we're doing something different, though. We're doing something a little upside down for you. Uh, yeah, but I... I'm making her a pineapple upside down cake for her birthday. No. <laughs> that would be kind of clever, though. No? No. Okay. So be it. Edwin Diaz. Having a child. Yay, Debbie. <laughs> Having a child wild or having a wild child? Yes and yes. Uh -huh. Autograph of Dwayne Underwood for the White Sox. 35 of 35. There's your eBay. One of one of tonight. I bet I know who gets this one. Speaking of having a baby. Dame Debbie. Dame Debbie with the Dwayne Underwood. Dwayne needs to work on his signature. Now, I'm only assuming this is White Sox because the cap is black, but now that blue is throwing me off. But I'm still thinking that's White Sox. We'll just go with that for now until a checklist tells me otherwise. I will look that up. But I believe that's going to be Debbie's. Look at DCD and the hype man there. Yeah, man. He's my Instagram bro. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. I did not know that. Pulls me nothing but two of ones. See what I mean? Okay, so John Lester, a Cub, right? That cap that's throwing me off. So if it is indeed you Cubs, right to be wrong. I was right to be wrong. So the Cubs would go to David H. Okay. Alrighty then. Debbie, thank you for your honesty. <laughs> yep, that's David H. Another. 19 of 25. This is Corbin Burns for the Brewers. Pull up. That is. That is. Green Bay. That just means I'm going to have to come up with a custom Kraken Max card that's a two of one. 
Oduble, silver. Machines, Altuve. And again, after this case is all done with, we are going to random off that box of Bowman Mega. The Peralta Silver. Yep. At least one box, maybe a second one, if we can get those last six spots filled tonight. Noah Syndergaard Silver. Cionel Perez for the Astros, 46 and 99. I bet that's going to be a zebra print. And it is. Cionel Perez for the Astros. Going to Turk. Turk getting another hit tonight. It's nice in a product where there's like 36 hits. Where there's another Kirby. Where you would expect just about everyone to get something. Like that... Uh, Elite Extra Edition had us 200 autographs per case. We did that last year. It was just nuts. And somehow, still, there were teams that didn't have any autographs after we were done with one case. That's not even possible, you wouldn't think. And the last autograph. Again with the Marlins, Lewis Brinson. Now, this is a nice-looking card. Marlins going to David H. with that last spot. Mojo helping us out, closing out this break, grabbing a few autographs. Congratulations, man. Final pack. And then we've got four final boxes to go. As soon as I'm done with this, you can have your phone. Okay. Lewis Brinson, Cionel Perez, Dwayne Underwood. Stack of cards. Thank you very much. Uh, that was my what elbow. That's stuff that I might be donating. Office gives me a little bit of anxiety, Christopher. This sounds like an off-air question. <laughs> Chris is hitting up a few Phillies games. Oh, cool. Say hi to Debbie. Yeah. Reese McGuire, silver. <laughs> Don't mind her, she just laughs. Michael just tweeted hashtag shark fractor. That's ah. just going to be, I got to work on that t-shirt design. The shark fractor? No, just, oh. the, no, yeah, by itself, an exclusive right. shark fractor tee. Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling no one would buy that one. I would have to just like give that one away. I cannot get over how much Alex's son looks like Caden. Oh, kind of. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. And we've got a Fernando Tatis Jr. Auto 7 of 10. Woohoo! That's pretty nice. Pretty nice? That is huge. Padres. Can I say? Goes yeah. to Dan B. Dan B. Look at that. So that would be hit of the night potential, depending on how definitive turns out. Wow. This has been a good case. For sure. Jeez. 
James Norwood snake. Boisega, Urias, Tatis, Judge. Got that Gonsalves Twins autograph. Bunch of Orioles autos. Now, I don't know if you were around for the discussion. So, uh, this was, I think, last week. DZ, his um, screen name is DZ507. The 507 is for the area code in Minnesota. Oh. Yeah. Uh, were you by Austin or Rochester? I can't remember where you said that. Yeah, where are you? Because that's, that's my old area code, too. The LQ, rep LQ represents the 608. Uh -huh. nah. Owatonna. Okay. Owatonna. Oh, Owatonna. They have a very good candy store. Chad Sabatka. Another Braves auto going to Mad Glass Smoltz. This is not a silver. This is going to be a base prism. Or not even a prism. It's a base auto. Going to Mad Glass Smoltz. Congratulations. Kennedy, another Padres autograph, 8 of 60. Padres going to Dan B, I believe, right? Chris H., that's stale gum, tweeted at me, I just saw a little bit ago. Wants to know, what's the one thing you can get in Minnesota that you can't get anywhere else? Passive aggressive behavior. Right? I was gonna say walleye, but can't you get walleye? Oh yeah. Yeah. Wild rice? Yeah. You can't get that anywhere else? Anything. Oh, then why'd you say no? Well, I don't list that. Oh. Well what would you list? I'm to think. Oh, okay. Silver of Kevin Newman. Uh, he's going to the Loons um, Philadelphia Union game tomorrow. Oh, nice. Minnesota makes his skin crawl, but that's more that's more because of the Vikings and their fans. Ah. Right, boys? <laughs> There's Archer Blue. Final pack. Minnesota Twins home. Yeah, I should tell him Target Field. <laughs> Brett Kennedy, Chad Sabatka, and the number to 10, Fernando Tatis. Juicy Lucy, but can't you get Juicy Lucy's? That's, that's where this is where the first one was. But you can, but you can get Juicy Lucy somewhere else. He's asking specifically, what can you get in Minnesota that you cannot get anywhere else? I mean, the thing is, is that <laughs> nowadays you can get anything anywhere. Mm -hmm. We tried making our own. and. Also, right when you first bought a grill and you 
I still blow things sometimes. Oh gosh. Your shirt's getting filthy stuff, I'll tell you. Get of the night so far. Yeah, it definitely is, I would say so far. But Lions fan. Who's Lions fan? Yeah, of course you do. Because he's got all the dad jokes. Oh, he just, that's right. Yeah, he's just, uh, he's getting his uh, first uh, adult teeth in this week. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, bring out the dad jokes. How has the tooth fairy been treating you this year, <laughs> Justin? See, he, get, he gets that in, in Buck City. They, they make fun of him there. Well, is this the one where somebody couldn't figure out if he was a kid or no, I think they figured it out right away. <laughs> yeah. We love having you here, Justin. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. That's hilarious, actually. It's 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 all in good fun, and I think he takes it that way. And that's, that's hilarious. That's so some, I that's you know good for you, man. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Hello, so he's youthful with a mature sense of humor. Is that what I'm understanding? Or he's just used to it. I don't know. <laughs> what, who was it that forever you thought was, you'd never seen a photo of him and you thought it was somebody who was in their 50s and it's somebody who's in their early 20s? Do you remember who that was? He's a pretty big, big Twitterer. Um... I don't know, because I feel like if I if I say a name and I'm wrong, I'll end up insulting them. Mm. Well, I'll probably insult them either way. I don't think that's an insult. I'm going to take yeah. my stupid face down. Uh, never mind, Tatis went downhill, it sounds like. <laughs> well, we still have the Judge Otto. We still have the Urias. And we still have Definitive to do. One full box, six spots left in the second box. Haven't even posted the third box yet. Brandon Lowe, Tampa Bay Rays. And what should you never do, LQ? Sleep on the Rays. Never ever sleep on the Rays. Who has the Rays? PR Nut Scott, who was in here, but is not now. That's still, that's still. That's still chat room mojo. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. This is Brandon Lowe. Now, I I, I heard tonight that there are there they have like three people on the team with the last name L O W E. Two of them is Low, and the other one's Wow. Oh. And I have no idea which one is the Wow. So we're just gonna go with Low. Well, Lowey. 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 <laughs> Congratulations, Scott. So I'm looking up foods in Minnesota, and of course. Tater Tots is coming up a lot, and I know that that is actually Chase's, one of Chase's favorite foods. Did you know that? Tater Tot Hot Dish. Really? Our godson likes nice. Tater Tot Hot Dish. Nice. Tater Tot Hot Dish. Well, probably because there's peas in it, I would have told you not to. Well, you can remove peas from things. Tanner Rainey autograph. See, i got to pull something while you're talking. Uh, That's how we do things here for Cincinnati. You get your... WKRP in Cincinnati. The Reds are going to dub. Dubity dub dub dub. Dub who was in the room. So no. it's still chat room mojo. No. Dub. Hey. There you go. See, I thought Dub was in this break. I don't know why I didn't think he was. Hey, so David. I was telling you. I was telling you. Hobby royalty. Dub's got a hit. Well, he is royal. Yeah, well. He is, uh, yeah, he, he is, he is King Flamingo. Yeah, that's cool. I, I do need to get some chucks again. You'll have to have inserts, though, because you have special feet. I have special feet. David, what's going on? Thanks for hopping in. We've, uh, we've got David, you. David, you're the prism angel. You missed it. Well, you're the prism angel. We, we got you some last spot mojo tonight. You've got a couple hits. And Colby Allard, 48 of 75. For the Braves, you know what? Chris M is not doing too badly either. Mr. Ginter, David, Chris M, all doing pretty well. Grizz doing pretty well too. Very nice. That is cool. Is that me? That's you. I'm gonna get him. They have a $30 credit. Ha, 
<laughs> DZ says, hashtag chat room mojo, it's real LQ, just acknowledge it. No. <laughs> How about... You're on the list, DZ, I'm putting you on the list. Just accept it. Hey, I'll tell do you. we have an extra autograph? I think this might be a hot box deal. We've got a Bayatal Avellino for the Giants. Well, well, well. Giants going to Mika Mika, who's, I think this is her third hit. This is chat room Mika. I will accept this. This is Mika Mojo. No. Chat room Mika. Okay, chat it's room chat Mika. Chat room Mika. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn the word Mojo. That's idle. That, you know what? That's not even our thing. Or should it be this thing? I think it might be a Mojo Breaks thing. Ah, no, I like that one. Yeah, that one. You guys, I'm getting rainbow shoes. Rainbow shoes. LQ's being a little extra, but I for a good cause. For yeah, a good like, cause. I am going to, I like a good conversation. <laughs> he says, acknowledge. <laughs> So we got a fourth hit out of this box, so our case is overperforming in more ways than one. I mean, okay, we got to show them. I want this. We need to show them. All right, this is a cool shoe. Well, wasn't I just saying <laughs> that I'm getting cutting my shoe collection? And, and here you are shopping for shoes, right? right. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> And another autograph. So we got ourselves an autograph hot box. This is for the Phillies. Ranger Suarez, I believe, is going to go to Dame Debbie. Debbie. Give me some intel on Ranger Suarez. I haven't seen this guy's name before. Nice rookie auto. Non-numbered. Final pack coming up. So we've got another autograph. This is 16 of That's 60. An extra one, isn't it? Oh. I just said extra autograph. Oh, I thought you said another. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Meisinger for the Cardinals. <sighs> Cardinals tonight going to Dan B. Dan B. Hitting another one tonight. All right, so we need some we need some hits for Top Shelf. We need some hits for Caden. Uh, Who else haven't we uh, announced yet? I think that's everybody. You know, Alex O got one. Dan B. Oh, Jason S needs something. So Jason S, Richie S, Caden, and Top Shelf. We need to call your name tonight. We got two boxes left to go. At least six autographs to go. We, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Here's a hit recap. We got extra hits, as LQ uh, <laughs> kindly pointed out. Ryan Meisinger, Ranger Suarez, Abayatal Avellino, Colby Allard, Tanner Rainey, and Brandon Lowe. All right, LQ, here you go. I want to take one more second to acknowledge Blowout for offering us a nice discount as usual. This is the box of acknowledgement? <laughs> That's what she said. That, oh my Ooh. god. Mm. Mm. Oh no. In all honesty, these are reminding me of Canto. Oh. Is this is really Canto. I'm, I'm come, I'm LQ kidding. wants you to come clean. No. <laughs> DZ, are you really thankful? And how's your leg? <laughs> hey, how's your leg? Can't go broke his ankle. No, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Sure. At a magic gathering. That stuff is rough, cool, man. man. Uh huh. Just because you can doesn't mean you try. <laughs> I didn't say it at Michael. 
It's just I'm just making fun of you for, you know, throwing away shoes and immediately buying throwing another. Away. No, no, no. Okay. Donate. You know what I meant. Donate. You know what I meant. Did I? Yeah. Am I? But vans are also on sale. He says, uh, no, I've been on here with Kanto. That doesn't mean you don't have two. No, that's true. We've had the same bot or spammer chatter. in here uh, with three different accounts spam, yeah. spam in our room. So it, it you know. You, you seem savvy. You're a Kanto you spammer. You're a Kanto spammer. Hey, look at that. Now, this is a really rare, rare pull. I have heard that these only fall one every few cases, maybe even less. Nice. I honestly was not expecting to pull one of these. This is going to the Nats. And the Nats goes to Dave and David H. Last Spot Mojo. Prism, Prism Angel. These are not numbered, but uh, this is a really tough insert to get. Juan Soto. I would put that up there. If 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 Prism was the only thing we were breaking tonight, I would put that up there with our hit of the night vote. Because that is a tough pull. That is tough. I think we've got a prism hot box. This is a ton of prism color in here. This is just un this is nuts. Very cool. This is insane. That card's numbered to 75. That card is not. Neither is that, neither is that, neither is that, neither is that. But they're every one of them is a prism card. Except for this last one was a base card. So one base card in that pack. Well, I'm saying that we've had an autograph hot box, and now I think we've got ourselves a prism hot box. This case isn't turning out to be a nightmare. Well, if only we had known beforehand, this probably would have sold a lot easier. <laughs> so again, prism, 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 prism. Yeah, this is definitely. Yep, absolutely no doubt about it. We've got ourselves a prism hot box, base. Number to 399. Insert. Prism, 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 prism. All of them. Every single one except for the last couple, or the, fr the front card and the last card. Deezy is thumbing it down. What? Deezy. Deezy, do us a favor. If you're on YouTube right now, and I hope you are, please give the YouTube video a thumbs up now, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Look at all these prisms. Now, does this mean we're not going to pull any autographs out of these boxes? I sure hope that's not the case. But this is our penultimate box. Content matched. <laughs> All right, looking for our first auto out of this box. Yeah, I'm not sure that autos are in prison hot boxes. I would hope they are. But as I mentioned, that might be why there were three additional autographs in that other box, so that would even out that average for the case. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be a box without autos. So, if that's the case, we're not we're still not going to be short any autographs. So that's a good thing. Ah, oh, we've got an autograph. Ryan O'Hearn, Royals, 41 of 60. Well, that's a teeny tiny little autograph. Uh, Royals going to Scott, PR nuts. DZ says, I always hit the like button at the start. Not sure if Kanto does, but I do. <laughs> See, that's something Kanto would say. That is exactly that what is, Kanto... That is a Kanto-wise statement right there. And then he would follow it up with something like, huzzah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a medieval emoji. And a wizard. 
I now. I'm not trying to make fun of of Canto. I I, I love Canto. I am. Canto's a good guy. But you you remember uh, Homestar, um, the the Team Girl Squad? Yes. And they would have the 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 the, so the, the, the nerdy guys that would play D and D. D and D, Greg. You know, <laughs> and first I roll my twelve sided die. <laughs> Kanto reminds me of the, the D&D Greg guys. But the weird thing is Kanto's actually really cool. <laughs> no, I know. Then uh, That's why I'm saying I don't mean to make fun of him, but that's that's who I think of. Well, I think that's what you think of when you think of D&D. But I kind of, I've, I've toyed around with joining a D&D, what do you call it? No, I have no idea. A parade? I don't know. A gaggle? A gaggle of A modo. A modo of all right so we got two packs left and one autograph pulled so potentially we'll have an autograph in each pack so maybe that needs to be back on the cabin? about what format uh someone said i like it oh. <laughs> not a lot of action tonight and an autograph of Kevin Newman of the Pirates, 46 of 60. And the Pirates goes to Donald B. Donald B. Oh, that's another name we haven't called yet. So, nice. Donald, picking up a Kevin Newman. Newman. Congrats, Donald. We're just going to leave the team board up because I'm pretty sure there's an autograph in this last pack. And uh, when we get to definitive, I'm pretty sure LQ is gonna poop a brick sideways when she sees what comes out of out or of that two. box. She might do it twice. Final autograph: Jake Cave, Minnesota Twins. We've got two Twins autographs. 35 of 99. Zebra print. That's a fun looking and the one. Twins that goes to our Godson Chaser. That's little nice. C. That's little C. Richie says, hit me. <laughs> We're trying, buddy. We're trying. <laughs> We're trying. Wow. Uh, Richie's got the Red Sox, so we, we need to pull a Red Sox hit for him. We need All to right. pull an Angels hit for Top Shelf Chris. We need to hit uh, Brewers, hit Brewers hit for Caden. Yeah, so we've got three opportunities, and those are the three names I want to see. So we are going to recap real quickly. This was the Prism Hot Box, but we've got a Jake Cave Zebra for Chase We've got Kevin Newman for Donald, and we've got a Ryan O'Hearn for PR Nuts. It's simple, easy. There's an app to submit a blood sample, and we'll review it. <laughs> it's, it's called 21 and LQ. Yay! Yeah. No, 23. Oh, 23 and LQ. That was almost a good one. Well, yeah. <laughs> Almost. Almost funny. No, I can just say almost. Almost. <laughs> so close. Almost. Final box of Prism. I gotta say, even though it sucked to try to have to sell this, this was a fun case. We, uh, we're having a good time tonight. Right. I'm glad we don't have another case to try to sell, but <laughs> this uh, this will do. So $144 in charity raised from this case. I don't want to tell you the kind of money we lost on this, but 144 bucks is going to Jed Foundation. $350 in the month of May going to Jed, uh, Jed Foundation. Yes, money was lost. There were sharks. There were there were bricks. There were bricks. Sideways bricks. You like here? Don't get me started. I know Jenny is a big fan. I don't know. I got her. And I'm not trying to I'm not trying to get anyone angry, but I, I have personal things that, and I'm not gonna talk about them right now. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rip baseball cards first, and then, oh, you, <laughs> you're like what? Alex Wright, uh, not the wrestler, Alex Wright, or that's Kyle Wright. Why did I say Alex? That's definitely not the wrestler. If it's Kyle Wright, no, not the Wright brothers. Right. No money lost when part goes to charity. Yeah, well. There you go, David. I see what you're saying there, David, but if I took a hit uh, on every case like I did with this case, 
we would be out of business he real to, fast. He has to let me go. He couldn't even afford to pay me nothing. Right. Uh-huh. Don't trouble Willis. But I say it every time, and I mean it every time. If it weren't for you folks, like David, Debbie, Grizz, Richie. Canto DZ. Well, I would say DZ, but yeah, he's since he's Canto, yeah. yeah. It's uh, DZ. Sean Reed Foley, Blue Jays autograph. Oh, I like that. That's a nice signature. No, <laughs> Blue Jays. Going to, going to Andy C., Grabbing another autograph tonight. Congratulations, Andy. Could the hybrid name be Decanto? Like a very fancy like wine? Decanto? What winery? Decanto? Decanto. Decanto. And uh, David did a really awesome thing. Yeah, he did. So, we did a free box break recently. And it was the biggest free box break we ever did. And we ended up pulling the biggest hit out of any free box break that we ever pulled. It was uh, a Reese Hoskins one of one monster patch autograph out of 2018 tier one. It was Hoskins rookie year. And it's hard to gauge value on that. But I personally, I would have valued it at one price compared to his of the same card that was numbered to 10. And what he did was he sold it to another Phillies collector and donated part of that money. And that is awesome. David, That's amazing. that is awesome of you. Thank you, David. Oh, we've got grill success from, from Scott. We gotta, we'll check that out after we're done with this. Yeah, David is an OG, Mr. Generous everything. That's what DZ means by two of one. Oh. Two people in one. I ooh, oh, we got it now. Uh, we were right. Illuminati. Mm -hmm. Illuminati. Card card hobby Illuminati. You've been making the symbol, y'all. Yep. Yep, it's happening. We, we, Was we, David we the gotcha. one that got your first free crap load of stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, we say that a he lot. Makes, I can, I, he makes good videos. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Uh, two lumber ink inserts in this one. That doesn't really mean anything. It just happened to happen. Looking. Card Illuminati. I'm all, I'm all about this. All right. DZ and Canto. We've got two more autographs. Looking for Brewers. Looking for Red Sox. Come on, y'all stretching. What is this? <laughs> it's us cracking the code. We don't just crack wax. We crack codes. Beyonce said y'all are stretching, too. And we know she's Ooh. Illuminati as well. So. Mm. Uh-huh. Isn't she also... Uh, I don't want to say because then I'll get I'll get stalked. You'll get stalked. Yeah. Huh. What? The show that we've been watching that we're waiting on another season. I don't want to say it. There are many seasons that we're waiting. Wait, what? Leah Remini. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is, no, she's, she's not. not Gosh, don't say it. Ah, they're gonna come to our house now. Well, you know. <laughs> he feels sad. Aw, don't feel sad. Come yeah. on. Feel seen, because you're finally seen Look, the Illuminati that you are. Canto's lucky that we think that you guys are the same person, so yeah. don't feel that bad. Or are you taking that as an insult? <laughs> <laughs> Richie Martin, another Orioles autograph. This has been an Orioles hot case. Holy crap. And the Orioles going to Mr. Ginter. Mr. Ginter getting all the hits tonight. Goodness. It's because he always has chat room mojo because he's always in the back of the frame. Yeah, we. There he is back there, Mr. Ginter. He, he looks pretty ghostly back there. He's always hunting our breaks. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh a break ghost. <laughs> I love Halloween stuff. Wow, I'm that a, that went on a tangent. Non non sequitur. Well, that's you really liked trick or treat break night, and I, I have a feeling you've been planning the next yes. one. Yes. And the next one we are doing is going to be actual um, tricks and treats. <laughs> no, like. Okay, that made me think of something completely wrong. Yeah, okay, that was our penultimate pack. This okay. is our final pack. We were looking for one more autograph. Who's it going to be? Uh, Leah was Scientologist. She got out. No, yep, yep, yep. We watch. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, we watch that like nobody's business. I said Illuminati. Right. Chris was confusing Scientology with the Illuminati. No, no, I'm not confusing it. I was saying. You're 
your Never face mind. Though. All right, so here is the final <laughs> hit of Prism. Who's it going to be behind Wayne Davis? It's going to be Caden. Our final hit of Prism is Andres Galarraga for the Rockies. Nice. All right. I think that's the first Rockies, Rockies. hit. Scott. PR Nuts. PR Nuts. Look at that. Not bad at all. LQ, I have a job for you. No. Yeah, I have a job for you. If you could do me a favor and you could uh, help me take, you don't have to do all of it, but help me take all the hits off of each stack. And I'm going to do a hit recap. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I guess I'm just going to talk to y'all. We're going to see what uh, Scott's, now that he gets, he's got the last hit of the night, or of the break, what his grill success was. We'll just share it on screen here as soon as I pull it up. Nice, Scott. Not, oh, bit, bit, bit. Nice. Shrimp, steak, salmon. Potato, broccoli, I'd eat all, well, except for the salmon, I'm not the same here. I would eat almost all of that, nice. <laughs> so, Chris wants to know. Chris, Chris? Nope, stale gum, Chris Harris, he's here for the Loons game. What's the one thing I can get in Minnesota that I can't get anywhere else? You can get anything. I think he needs to stop for anywhere. places to get but you should grab some cheese curds. Cheese curds and a Juicy Lucy. Can you get uh, cheese curds at Brit's Pub? Heck yeah. Go to Brit's. But they might have open. It could be open and closed. Brit's Pub. Brit's Pub. And a Juicy Lucy. From Matt's. At Matt's. Local beers. I would go with Surly and what, Summit? Surly, Summit, Farm Girl. Maybe even Farm Girl. All right, so hits. LQ has all the hits. Well, too late. We're doing a hit oh, recap. Gee, We're doing a hit re uh, recap here. This that's, so these are all the hits that we pulled. That's a big old stack of hits. So that's uh, definitely more than thirty-six. So here we go. Chad Sabatka for the Braves. Thanks, Ricky. Take care. Oh yeah, Hell's Kitchen peanut butter bacon burger. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yes, and then also go to wait, wait, wait. But Hell's Kitchen, room. Hell's Kitchen isn't just up here though. So he was asking specifically about local stuff. Hell's Kitchen, they have they've got this. No, they don't. Sure they do. Brett Kennedy. Oh, wait. Ah, let's... Newsroom, get the Mountain Dearest Martini. You get a mini wire hanger. I don't think he wants that. Oh, come Fernando on. Fernando Tatis Jr., Padres. So I'm going to I'm gonna set that out for hit of the night potential. Brandon Lowe. Tanner Rainey for the Reds. <laughs> David, I want that peanut butter bacon burger right now. Colby Allard. Oh, we'll set that aside just in case. Ryan Reinsinger, Ranger Suarez, Abayatal Avellino, Ryan O'Hearn, Kevin Newman, Jake K for the Twins, Dwayne Underwood, Siono Perez, Lewis Brinson, Marlins, Stephen Duggar, Tim Beckham, Bryce Wilson, Gabriel Guerrero. I want to just like do a break where I read to you, but I think their signature set. <laughs> Steven Gonsalves. Luke Weaver. Luis Bucking. Urias. Put that off to the side. Tuki Toussaint. I'll put Ryan, that off to the side Andrea. as well. Jonathan Loisiga. Jojo Gogo. -Go. Put that off to the side as well. Ryan Barucki. Patrick Wisdom. Patrick Weiler. Max Freed. Aaron Judge, Game Ball Graphs, Redemption will play off oh, to the side. Oh. NW Frosty. Austin wins. Dean Dietz. New Dusty. Zegris says, I'll be ghosting a bit. I think I'll clear some of the first final place. Oh, right, man. I think you did. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Zed. Danny Jensen. 
Tim Beckham, Brad Keller, oh, man, Luis Ortiz, Cedric burger. Mullins, Andres Galarraga, Richie Martin, and Sean Reed Foley. That does it for Prism. Up next. That's not bad. Up next is Definitive Collection. I can't believe you're ghosting now. We've got Definitive Collection. There's only eight cards in that box. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. Jeez. I gotta make that burger, though. You know what, though? We could do a second box. I'm serious. Let's fill that second box up. Let's do two boxes tonight, shall we? Let's do it. That would be fun. Let's do it. We're going to give uh, give you guys a couple of minutes here. I'm going to put up the graphic, turn on the music. We'll give you a couple of minutes to decide whether or not you want to break a second box of Definitive Collection. I really think we should go to crackamax.com slash shop. Find that second box of Definitive Collection. Fill that up. Six spots left. We can do it tonight. But in a couple of minutes, we will break that first box. And... I just said the place. Oh, well. LQ. LQ is his PR director. LQ says go here. Oh. Crackandwax.com slash shop. Even though I just yes, said. Yes, I don't care. Even though links, I just said. Links. Links are fun. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. All right, folks. We are going to take a little bit of a break and we will see you in just a couple minutes. All right. Ciao.
Welcome back, everybody. Now, guess what I forgot to do? Completely forgot <laughs> to random off the uh, Bowman Mega Box to the Prism. Uh, we also just got an order in, and let's see if we're going to be doing the second box of Definitive tonight. So we got uh, Mr. Ginter bought a spot, so we've got five spots left in the second box of Definitive Collection. We are doing at least one box, but firstly, we're going to be giving away that box of Bowman Mega. And that's going to go to the last six spot owners of 2019 Panini Prism Baseball uh, because you folks helped us fill that case break and it was real tough to do. Now let me, uh, I've, I've got the names here, but I'm actually gonna take down the, the team board because it's only going to go towards six specific people. Now before we randomize, let's decide how many times we're gonna randomize you know what? Let's let's do two dice. Here we go. <laughs> Randomizing two times. Okay, well, a lot of good that did. Randomizing twice. <laughs> that figures. Okay. So these are the six names. Grizz. Donald B, Dan B, and David and Ark three times. Head on over to random.org. Let's randomize twice. And the name that is listed on the top on the second randomization is the person that will win the box of 2019 Bowman Mega. That's number one. That's number two, Grizz. Up in Canada, you got yourself a box of 2019 Bowman Mega. Congratulations, Grizz. That is going to you. What? Yeah. Good job, Grizz. Mr. Babe Ruth? Let's see. Oh, what did David just do? Let's check. What oh, thank you, David. Thank you, guys. Or David. David. And, and guys. And, and guys and girls. <laughs> much appreciated. We love that. Thank you so much. What a sweet guy. All right. So we've got, uh, so Mr. Ginter did pick up one spot. So we got five spots left in box number two. But now we need to decide before we end up doing a box of definitive. This is what a case of definitive looks like. Only three boxes. There are only eight hits in each box. Each box costs about $1,200. This is nuts. Okay. This isn't. Diamond icons I level. This. this isn't transcendent level, but this is this is up there. So this is serious. So remember when we originally posted the case break, we were doing $185 per card as a hit draft. And now ah, no, let's not do that. So we decided to do $99 per dual team. Pick one, get one. You pick one spot, we give you an additional random team. Now, of course. We did that before we got a chance to see the checklist and didn't know the Marlins were going to get completely skunked out. So someone is going to end up getting the Marlins, unfortunately, in the first box break. The second box break, we won't worry about that. That's not included there. But in the first one, yeah, sorry about that. That was part of the deal. Depending on how things end up, though, we will do something extra for that Marlins spot. As I mentioned previously, should the team that gets paired with the Marlins end up with some hits, we'll still throw in a skunk pack or whatever. But if the team that gets paired with the Marlins don't get any hits, we've got something else in mind for you. We, we won't say what it is. We'll just let it happen as it happens. But now we're going to decide which one of these boxes we're going to rip open for the first box break. Oh, Canto's here. Canto's here, but hasn't he been here the whole Canto's all been here the entire time, TZ. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Canto, you don't know it, but we've been talking about you for a bit. So you're going to have to go back and watch this break. Give it a thumbs up if I'm amazing, and we'll be good. And LQ had no idea that you broke your leg. Oh, you rip it on camera or let... <gasps> Should I do a Z Grizz break of his free... Of his free Oh. I'll even stop biting my nails so I have nice hands for the break set. Grizz, I'll tell you what. Af yeah. After we do the first box of Definitive, LQ can rip open your Bowman Mega Box. That'll give us a little extra time to see if we can possibly fill up the second box. Wait, what? 
DZ's got to run. Oh, of course he's. Of course he has to run when Kanto is here. Uh huh. Box of acknowledgement. My God, that sounds amazing. <laughs> I love it. All right, so here's. Thanks, Deezy. Thanks for being here. Here's what we're gonna do. On the left, that's box A. In the middle <laughs> is box B. On the right is box C. If we roll a one or a two, we're opening box A. Three or four is box B. Five or six is box C. Here we go. All right. Remember, we've got five spots left in a potential second box. I think you've got it. Stop it. Stop it. Wow. Reach. Here we go. Yes. 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 It's a three. I'm all good with the both numbers. So we're doing the middle box. Delicious, Scott. All right, now we need to decide the team pairing. So this is a pick one, get one. Let's get that dice back. Or die, sorry, jeez. No, you're right, dice. I learned that on the Magic Gathering. One die. Isn't that dice still? I thought Two dice, dice, one die. Oh. We're going to do the randomizations also two times. Yes, she did, and I was like, no. No, we need to do it the correct way. So these are the teams that were not picked. You'll notice the Marlins are in red. I uh, removed them from the team uh, picks as soon as I was able to so that no one could accidentally pick them. We're going to randomize that twice. And we'll throw that over here. Get rid of that last row that sometimes likes to pop up. And now we are going to take our 15 wax crackers. Once and twice. And our team assignments for definitive collection. Pick one, get one, number one is as follows. Andy C, you've got the Yankees and A's. Richie, you've got the Red Sox and Twins. Canto, the Nats and the Reds. Chris C, the Astros and Padres. Dame Debbie, Phillies, White Sox, Orioles and D-backs. Fieldy, that's uh, Reed. You've got the Angels, Braves, Cardinals, Pirates, Marlins and Rockies. So Marlins, that's the one we're going to watch out for. Grizz, you've got the Dodgers, Mariners, Rangers, excuse me, Rangers and Mets. Kind of. Jason S. with the Indians and Brewers. Mika with the Giants and Rays. Mike K. with the Blue Jays and Royals. And Scott with the rest. You've got the Cubs and Tigers. Okay, where's my clock? Where's my clock? All right, it is 7.08 p.m. our time. We will give you until 7.10 p.m. to make any trades that you might want to make. And go! We actually showed your picture on, on, on the broadcast, Scott. I missed it. Yeah. Give me your phone. I, I'm giving you my phone. Why not? <laughs> you can trust me. I make you some friends. Here, good luck getting in. <laughs> I know you passed. Oh, we got an order. We got an order. Hold oh, on. Oh. You guys, his little ding went off. My ding went off, and it made me happy again. <laughs> I love when my ding goes off. Hey, David yeah. H. bought a spot. We got four spots left. Yeah. Oh, it's rally time. We could do two we could do two boxes tonight. That would be cool. Oh uh, yeah, look at that now. DZ is lingering and fanboying Canto this place. Oh uh -huh. I love it because Canto's gonna be so confused and that's my favorite Canto. <laughs> <laughs> Scott wants to know if anyone wants the Tigers. Reed wants to know Rockies for Brewers. Alright, we got less than a minute left. Let's see if we can confirm some trades. 
I don't think Jason is here. It's almost that time. Do we have any trades? Are we doing this? All right, it is 7.10, our time. No trades, no trades. And yes, come on folks, let us fill that second box. We've got four spots to go. Okay, I'm gonna make our team board. I did, ex yes, I did explain already. Just oh my join. gosh. Replay. Replay oh. Your thought. oh my gosh. So much work. Yeah, I'll, I will explain again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In just a second. Breaker martyr. I know. Now can we need to crowdfund for a fainting house for Chris? Please, that would be awesome. No. Oh my gosh. No. That would be awesome. All right, so Reed has the Marlins. Here is the team board. So here's what's happening, Reed. Here's what's happening. Let's see. 2019 definitive box number one. And next, LQ Ray. No, but my, you guys have bit by nail. But you're doing his Bowman Mega Box, know, remember? Was, you can't say no now. You I already know, agreed to the it. deal. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, go ahead. Explain. You need a fainting count. Explain. Okay. Exactly. Okay, so what's happening with the Marlins is, depending on how your team pairing does, will determine what bonus you get. Now, if your team, if the, the team that's paired with the Marlins gets a hit or two, we'll throw in a couple uh, of skunk packs anyway. If the team that's paired with Marlins gets skunked out too, we'll throw something a little bit better in there. We're, we haven't announced it yet. We'll take care of you. We'll, we'll take care of you. There's, uh, it's not on screen. Don't worry about it. We're not giving you a box of definitive. Uh, Give me a box of prism. We're, <laughs> we're giving you LQ. I will be shipped. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. Here we go. I'm gonna keep uh, the. You stand me. I'm gonna keep the team board up because every card is a hit. This is the box that we're doing. Eight hits per box includes six autograph cards. <sighs> you gotta stand the board. I'm just saying. A third person myself. Please. Yeah. I, yes, you did. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the first time I've ever broken any definitive collection. Really? I've never done it before. Never done it before. I think I did this one confused with the briefcase one. That's flawless. That's a Panini product, and that doesn't have any logos on it. This is Tops, so you can tell it's authentic. So what was the best Tops besides this product? What's the only other one you had that's been like super crazy? Look at that. Woo! Look at that. Isn't holy, that fancy? Holy balls. Isn't that fancy? That's nice. Well, that's a lot of gold. So we've got a gold frame in here at the very least. We don't have any cleats or anything. So the, the reason for that is some of those cards are so thick. Like, cleats. Well, I don't know if they have cleats in here, but look, there's, some cards are so thick that you need a box this size. For. So we don't have a monster, 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 like, relic thing in here. Trying to be all careful and sneaky about it. And that's a insert thing, so this doesn't count as one of the hits. It's kind of it's static clinged to the box. We have another order. Hold on, hold on, let's see. Hold on, what, what just happened? Uh oh, I think it's Mika. Mika picked up a spot. Does that mean right. we've got three left? I think we got three left. Now I want to double. Yes. I want to double check just to make sure that that is the case that we have three left because I don't want to say one thing and be wrong. Well, that's never. 
I know that's never happened. <laughs> Everyone's like, get on with it. <laughs> well, we'll let the we'll let that run. Oh, it, here it is. Ah, okay, yeah, we do have three left. Three left, and we can do a second box. All right, first hit. Hey, LQ, pronounce your name. I know. First hit. Eric Hosmer, 31 of 35, authenticated relic. Royals. Or Royals, Padres. Oh, my gosh. Padres going to Chris C., that is Kraken Wax Rookie Mojo right yeah. out of the gate. Chris C, first hit. Eric Hosmer. Nice. Second hit. Yes. Four of 20, Nolan Arenado Rockies. Authenticated patch. Rocky's going to read. Read G. Very cool. So an asterisk, I type exclamation. So. Well, just that's how it reads it. So uh, like... next one. Jumbo patch auto for the Yankees. Luis Severino, 27 of 50. Andy C. Picking up a big Yankees hit. Three spots left. We can do a second one of these. Oh, this is going to be good. This is gonna be good. Look at that. Two of five. Richie S. Richie S didn't get anything in Panini Prism, but look what you got here. Pedro Martinez. David Ortiz. Two of five. You got a patch in there. It's a purple parallel. That is awesome. That's beautiful. Wow. There you go, Richie. Wow. And he bounced out, too. Remember? I think he said he was bouncing out. So that's chat room exit. Mojo. Yeah. All right. Here comes our gold framed. And this is exactly why I'm randoming off the Yankees. Another Yankees hit. 8 of 15 gold framed auto of Hideki Matsui. I'm thinking now, I'm thinking the next box might actually be better than the first box. I have a good feeling if we fill up that second box, we might actually pull something better than what we've seen so far. Three spots are left. Crackenwax.com slash shop. Let's fill it up. That is nice. Next one. I like how you like with acrylic pedestal. We need to have this for everything. For you. <laughs> Colby Allard. This is the second Colby Allard hit tonight, but the first one out of definitive. 9 of 25 going for the Braves. Reed, you've got two hits. Wow. Out of your two spots, so your Marlins pairing didn't do too badly. You're still going to get a little something extra. Wow. What's the green? Is that something? It's a parallel color. Wow. Two hits to go, and we were done with box number one. I didn't do that on purpose, by the way. I wasn't, I wasn't rhyming on purpose. So. You never rhyme well. So. All right. Okay. This is the penultimate pull. You're not even shaking. You're not even shaking. Like oh, this is cool. This is cool. Oh, this is really cool. There's an inscription on here. There's an inscription. Andre Dawson. H O F. Hall of Fame 2010. Stripe Relic Auto, 10 of 50. There you go, and 
That's a signature. Scott getting the Cubs. Wow. Look at that. Jeez. Here's what I'm saying. These are not bad. There is there hasn't been a bad card in this These box. These are not bad. Is that your tagline for Divinity? There hasn't been a bad card in this box, but I bet you box number two is going to be better. And I'm not just saying that. I'm 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 telling you right now. You guys, he's chomping at the bit. He needs to open. Three something. spots to go. Let's fill this up. Final card of box number one. And this is I'm a Twins fan. All right. This is not a Twins yes. card. This is not a Twins card. But I can tell you that. Normally, I would be kind of like, but this, oh, I like it. this, how about Al Kaline? Tigers, Scott, you got back to back hits, eight of 15. Wow. You, wow. you got the Dawson, you got Ka uh, Kaline. Jeez. That was box number one. I think we can do another one. Let's do it. Let's fill that up. Three spots left. Cracklemax.com slash shop. And someone will get the Yankees random to them in box number two. Keep that acrylic so let's go over the cards one more time. Al Kaline. Andre Dawson. Jumbo Jersey Inscription Autograph, 10 of 50. Colby Allard. Yeah, and you tried to trade the Tigers. Yeah. How often does that happen? A lot. All right, we have a new order. Zgris says it's gone. He says he just filled box number two. Let's double check to make sure that that actually happened. Ian, hold on a second. Don't buy anything just yet because I have to shut that off if that's actually filled. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, we are full. Ian, don't buy any spots. I got to shut that off. We are doing a second box. Give me one second. So we're going to show off the rest of these cards. We'll shut that, uh, that, we'll shut that one off. Hey, I got a third box here, though. <laughs> Let's do a third. We can do a third, too. There's Hideki Matsui. Gold frame. And I think this is the big one of this box. Poppy and Martinez, two of five. Yeah, Ian, don't don't buy anything. I got to shut that off. Luis Severino. Nolan Arenado. Eric Hosmer for the new guy. Chris C getting the first hit. Folks, all right, I, I, I got to take a second. We're going to shut the, not shut the breakdown, but we're going to pull the graphic up. We're going to turn this off a little bit. I have to quickly make, uh, <laughs> turn that off, and I've got to make a new team board. It'll take me like five minutes or so, so please hang back. We are going to do the Bowman Mega Break for Grizz first. Really? And then we'll do that second box. All right? I'm going to go wash my hands. Yep. Hey, we can still do a third box. If you are interested in doing a third box, I've got another one here. So just let me know how many t uh, how many uh, spots you want, and uh, we'll get that figured out later. But why don't you think on that? I'm gonna pull up the the break graphic. We'll take a break real quick. I gotta I gotta shut that break off before someone else goes in and tries to buy more spots. All right, folks, hang on for just a few minutes. We'll be back with you in just a moment.
right, folks, we are back. Thanks for hanging out. We've got a team board ready to go. Uh... <laughs> nice. Yeah, it is fun, LQ. And uh, speaking of LQ, here she is. She's going to be doing a, a little bit of a break real quick. She's breaking Grizz's Bowman Mega Box that he won tonight. So we're going to do that first. And then right after that, we're going to be diving right into Definitive Box number two now as i mentioned in the youtube chat room earlier if you are interested in doing a third box tonight let me know what teams you're interested in and we'll get something worked out um if not we'll just post that another day and we'll we'll try again some other day but man filling up a second box on the fly like that was fun and i'm i'm looking forward to doing a second box lq why don't you get in in, in the chair here and uh We'll, we'll let you break away for Grizz. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready to mispronounce. And, and uh, our, our Minnesota Lynx are, are winning, by the way. So if you, if you want in on a WNBA break, Crack and Wax is the place to go. WNBA. WNBA. Okay, LQ, take it away. All right. I shall. Give me my phone. I'm all almost dead. Billy, I see that phone five times a day. Yes, you do. Great. This mic is pretty high, huh? <clears throat> okay, so we got this little number here for Mr. David. Actually, it's for Grizz. For Grizz. I just apparently David's on my mind. All right, this is for... Why, why is that? Because he is, or was, or will always be, the Chrome Angel. I don't know. I'm wearing Chris's sweatshirt, too. This brings me luck. Oh, for fudge sakes. There's your word or phrase word of the break of for fudge sakes y'all i'm doing so much better not swearing it's pretty amazing i gotta be over here i am such a rookie well you need to practice for the, the ladies night right do I? Okay, so I just start? Go for it. Okay. Yeah, Alright. Now wait a minute. Are those the special mojo? Do those last. Do the mega box one last. How do you know? But they all say mega. Oh, oh okay. Ah. Oh, I see. There are things. Hey, you read. Uh. What? Okay, just go? Okay. Alright, kids. Chris, keep your eyes peeled. I don't want to mess up stuff. All right, we'll just get closer here. All right. Should I be saying things? All right. All right, things and whatnot. Cards are happening. Okay. Ooh. Poop brick sideways, poo floaties, and what did I just say? I said something special. I don't recall. Yeah, I'm 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 good with words and poo floaties. All right, ooh, look at that, guys. Look at oh, hey, breaking nice names. going great. Yeah. Well, Dean yeah. Debbie is in for two teams. 12 left. What else do I have to say? I've got nothing, man. Got nothing. I'm concentrating. Yeah. Breakers breakers need to concentrate. Yeah. I'm not constipated. Oh my god. I have to say I'm not constipated. Right. Anywho. Anywho is it. This is nice. I like a stand. <laughs> Oh, cards. Cards are happening, people. I can, but I think they want to get to a definitive, and I'm all about that. But. Oh, the Kyle Jackson. So why is this such a big deal, this product, the Bowman Mega? It's 
been all over my feed. I know nothing about it. That are we're about to break. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Be really careful. Don't don't uh, scratch them with your chrome scratchers. My chrome scratchers. Oh, let's see. I, you don't normally wear that middle. Do I don't. But let's see. It's showing up. Ooh, we oh, have we no, have no, some that's jewels. A, that's, a that's that's something, you huh? I did I? I bought one third. <laughs> I bought one. All right. What do you got there? I got uh, uh, Jose De La Cruz, Brady Singer. All right, ready for the show, number 58 of 250, uh, Ryan Moncastle. How did I do? Fine. Oh, you're fine. Oh, yeah, fine. Another Ryan Moncastle and an Austin Riley. Nice. Cool. I, cool. I know nothing of what that means, but they're shiny. Shiny things. Poo floaties. What the hell is a poo floaty hashtag doing in that chat room right now? You turkeys. Okay. Ronnie Mauricio. Nick Madrigal. Hey, Ronnie Mauricio is a big deal. This is a big deal, guys. Well, That's why I put it back up there. Last week for Tyler. All right. So, so yay. All right. Nick Madrigal. Nice. Uh, Tuki Toussaint. I, I say Toussaint. I accidentally said Toussaint earlier. Toussaint. Rookie of the year. All right. Is that numbered? No. All right. Jesus Lusardo and Logan Allen. Nice. And this concludes the Zed Grizz break. Special break. Special break for Bowman Mega. Thanks for letting me open that. That was fun. All right. So, acrylic off the set. There you be. And I'll stand up. All right. I want to do this because that's what they do in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, flashy ring. That's right. That's right. Flashiness is as flashiness does, Panto. All right. Thanks for that uh, inspirational break, LQ. <laughs> uh, shut up. Whoa. There goes my chair. I got it. I got it. Okay. Grizz, thanks for letting LQ do that. Yeah, she doesn't uh, fun. She doesn't always like to break, but when she does, she does it for Canadians. So <laughs> it's very accurate. Thank you. I'm gonna check my Twitter feed real quick because I thought someone said they might want in on a third box. Let's check that out. There's his dish, by the way. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I retweeted it. Uh, Chris, no, uh, Yankees are not available, but uh, you could possibly potentially have the Angels. We'll see. So that's three teams. So Chris C says he'd be in for a team. So then that means we would have 11 spots left if we do it. I'm not promising those spots right now, but what I'm saying is um, if we do it, I just need to know right now. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to decide which box we're going to do. So very easy. The one on the right. Even number, odd number. Even odd. Okay. Even odd. Even number it is. Okay. Oh. We're doing this box. That's not the one LQ wanted either, no. so that's tough. No geese. Now we're going to decide how many times to randomize everything. Can I break this one? Oh, you want to break this one? Yeah. Oh, now you're having fun? I'm having fun. Oh, no, she's having fun. All right. No, I won't. Okay, 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 okay. okay. We're randomizing once. Yes, it's my favorite number. It's bad. I don't like that, but well, that's what we're going to do. I do. We're, I don't like that. I do. I do. Okay, so we're randomizing once. Actually, let me take that down real quick. I want to make sure I've got the right freaking breakup here first before I start doing it. Okay, yes, I do. These are the remaining teams. We've got 14 teams here. I left off the Marlins and I left off the Yankees. The Marlins because no one's getting the Marlins. The Yankees because someone's getting the Yankees as a bonus third team. The, the Yankees honestly have a ton. A ton on the checklist. We are randomizing only the one time. And there we go. That was fast. Right there. Take our wax crackers. Mm -hmm. 
And now the fun part. We're just going to drop that list of names as is right back into random.org. And now, how many times are we going to randomize the Yankees spot? Two. I should get out the, the black deck. Four. So we're going to randomize the Yankees spot four times. One, two, three. And the top name on the fourth roll is the person who gets the Yankees. Mika. Whoa. Mojo. Okay, team assignments are as follows. Andy C, you've got the Angels and Brewers. Richie, you've got the Red Sox and Twins. Dame Debbie with the Phillies, White Sox, Rangers and Cardinals. David H with the Cubs and Orioles. Reed with the Braves, Rays. Grizz, you've got the Astros, Blue Jays, Nationals, Royals, A's, Rockies, Reds, and Pirates. Jason S. with the Indians and Tigers. Mika with the Dodgers, Giants, Mets, D-backs, and the third bonus team, Yankees. Mr. Ginter with the Mariners and Padres, and nobody has the Marlins. All right, it is currently 7.42 our time. We will give you until 7.44 p.m. our time to make any trades that you might want to trade and go. So Ian says he'd be in for a spot. That means we'd be down to 12 spots. Can I have my drink? Get a little scratchy. Now, what is the big hit we are going to pull? That's... There won't be one in here. It's not possible. This went by so fast. I don't. I don't know that anyone will actually make any trades. To be honest, I, I apparently finished my thing. Oh, well, yeah. Trade the Rays for Reds or Brewers. Reed, what are you doing? Never sleep on the Rays. Oh, Whoa. but I, he's got to try to get for get his team. Andy C, I don't think is here. Um, Grizz, would you be interested in trading the Rays for Reds? I can't believe Reed is offering up the Rays. Don't ever sleep on the Rays. I'll give you a couple seconds to to hash that out while I prep my team board. All right, we are trading reds and rays around. Ooh. Reds and rays. All right, there's the confirmation of the trade. It is 744. All right. Trade window is now closed. We will make that team board. And just for the heck of it, pull up the cam, show off my 150 point shirt because, you know. Because <laughs> I gotta. Mm -hmm. Reed, how is your shirt? I just got uh, I got my copy of the shirt that you have, in, and actually, it looks really dang good. I, I wore it to how, where did I wear? It? I wore it to my physical th therapy appointment the other day, and uh, one of the physical therapists started talking about trading cards, and I was gonna turn around and start talking about and it. And you didn't. And I didn't. I sh totally should have. Your PR person's upset about. Me. Yes. Who is that again? Me. Oh, you. Okay. <laughs> that 
get saved as the right file, and we will get to cracking that wax. Here comes the team board. Boom, there it is. All right, here we go. Second box. I have uh, heard, now let me check on the tweeters. Yep, I have heard so far potentially four spots, or I'm sorry, yeah, four spots are gone, potentially. But uh, keep chatting at me. If you think you might want a spot, let me know. We can do a third box. If not, no big deal. But we're going to crack into this second box of Definitive Collection. Same as the last box, eight hits per box, includes six autographs. Oh, there's one in here. There's one in here. Don't worry. I'm... Gosh. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very good about this one. I know you aren't. I know you wanted the other one. But I'm just saying, this is... It's okay. I'll be fine. Kudos to Tops on this... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Kudos to Tops on this, on this box design. Good, good darn thing there's a freaking... <laughs> box around it I'm hungry well it's pizza party time next all right box number two here we go I'm ready. are we ready aye, aye, Captain. first hit Look at that, five of five, Scooter Jeanette. Wow. Red's patch. Red's going to Fieldy Reed. That's pretty. That trade paid off. Look at that. Jeez, Reed knows what's going on. That trade paid right the heck on off. All right, now the next card we are totally jealous of, LQ and I are, and um, no one picked this team. What? No one picked this team, and LQ and I are very jealous of this card. <gasps> one of one, oh! Joe Mauer letter patch. Hit of the night potential Whoa, right there. Twins. Joe Mauer, though, future Hall of Famer. One of one. Whoa. This came from an actual Mauer jersey. This is hit of the night potential right here. That's amazing. I told you I was feeling good about this. Who got this one? Richie S. You got our twins, Mauer. Letter wow. patch, one of one. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, I, I knew I felt good about this box. I knew it. All right, awesome. we're putting hit of the night potential card right there. Next up, Jumbo Relic Auto 4350 Alex Bregman for the Astros going to Grizz. Now, the next guy, we actually came up in conversation earlier today. We've got. Look at that. Dale Murphy and John Smoltz, 13 oh, of 35. Yeah. yeah we were talking about Braves going to Reed. Reed is getting quite a nice. few definitive collection this hits tonight. Kind of Reed and Man, Reed. Put up some good stuff. Yeah. All right, and, and, and because it wouldn't be a crack and wax break without pulling at least one of this guy's cards. We got Matt Chapman, 40 of 50. Jumbo Relic Auto. A is going to Grizz. Grizz with another one. Nice. Luis Urias. Urias. 30 of 50. Luis Urias for the Padres. Going to Mr. Ginter. We got two cards 
left. A couple of good ones. Look at that. Three of ten. Will Clark. Patch auto for the Giants. Going to Mika. Mika is going to love that. She loves the Giants. That is beautiful. Look at that. That is hitting the main potential all over it. Dang. Congrats, Mika. Last hit. Unless we do that third box. Paul Goldschmidt. This one is a Diamondbacks card, though. This isn't a Cardinals card. Uh, I have a feeling that if Lori were in this break, this is the one that she would have wanted. Paul Goldschmidt with an inscription. Josh, 1, 9, 23 of 25. D-backs going to Mika, getting back-to-back -back wow. hits. Well, we got our one of one tonight. Mauer, one of one. Oh, yeah, I would totally vote. This would be the one that I would vote for, yeah. If I saw someone else tweet out four hits for hit of the night, this would be, this would get it. Goldschmidt, auto inscription. Beautiful Will Clark, three of ten. Jeez. Luis Urias. Matt Chapman. We always pull Matt Chapman for some reason. Johnny Smoltz. Dale Murphy. I feel like every break. Alex Bregman. Scooter Jeanette with the big five of five. Red's Pat. Boy, that's beautiful looking. I don't know, man. So what do you think? So I'm torn. So obviously the Mauer would would be in contention. Because I mean it's it's a future Hall of Famer. It's a one of one. It's a it's a nameplate patch off the actual jersey. But what what other one? Oh, gosh, I'm thinking I'm thinking we throw the poppy one in there as hit of the night. What else do you think is hit of the night? Because I I'm thinking from this break. There's so many good ones. These are I'm, the Will Clark is up there for sure. Gosh, I mean these are all beating out the Prism. And it's, I gotta have a, a, a one or two Prism cards. I'd feel terrible if I didn't have any Prism ones. But seriously, what are, what are your thoughts on on hit of the night from these? I mean we've got at least awesome ones from the first box. Look at that. We got the Ortiz. Martinez, 2 of 5. That's got to be in contention for Hit of the Night, right? Review, Clark. The, we got the uh, Hideki Matsui gold frame. We probably won't get another frame auto out of this thing. Andre Dawson, seriously? LK line? I mean, this is nuts. This is nuts. What do you think, folks? What should we add in? Yeah, it is a ton of good stuff. Gosh, I'm going to have to think about it. I'm going to think about it before before I post. I'll probably post the Hit of the Night stuff tomorrow because I, I got to think about it. Joe Maurer is the lock, though, because, I mean, it's it's the, it's the one of one. I, I just wish there was an autograph on it. That would that would put it over the top for sure. God, could you imagine nope. if there was an autograph on there, too? Nope. Jeez. Maybe if you want to have one from the Prism, the Gold. Yeah, but there was also that Aaron Judge. I mean, does, does, does Aaron Judge beat out Tatis? But it is a gold, and that was low numbered. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't know. This is going to be tough. Well, I didn't see anybody else make any requests for any spots for the third box. We're going to we're going to hold on to this third box for a little while. Um, again, we are doing luminance. Hopefully next week. If it fills next week, we'll do it next week. We uh, have 27 teams left. It's still on pre-sale. We're going to keep it on pre-sale until I see a checklist so I can properly price it out. We're going to shoot for Saturday. If not Luminance, we are definitely doing Finest for sure. 
Crackandwax.com slash shop. We hardly have any, any spots left in any of the, the, the finest uh, bricks at this point. So if you want in, get in now. For the rest of the month, uh, we still also have WNBA. We've got a dual box, pick one, get one. There are three spots left, so that's almost filled too. So that's that's a break you're you're hardly ever going to find anywhere else. I don't really know anybody else that's breaking WNBA. So, uh, and of course, that's in June. So all of our June breaks are going to be benefiting human rights campaign. So that's appropriate. Uh, and of course, Series 2 is also coming out. I think Stadium Club is coming up this month, too. This is a hot month for trading cards. So we, this was a nice, fun night. LQ, thanks for breaking Bone and Mega. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Uh, any last parting words from LQ? Thank you, David, for letting me practice my skills. That was actually Grizz, but okay. Uh, why do I keep saying David? I don't know. Well, he's, he's on my mind for just picking up the prism stuff, I guess. Okay. Yes. All right. I don't know that the judge was numbered. It didn't say. It just said uh, um, ball graph. And it was none of the other ball graphs that we pulled were numbered. So I don't think it's numbered. It didn't say it was a parallel. So I'll probably do the Maurer, the David Ortiz, um, Pedro Martinez, the Tatis. And then I got to figure out what the fourth one is going to be. This is going to be tough. So <sighs> anyways. All right, we will see you next Saturday for At Least Finest, maybe also Luminance, but At Least Finest. Have yourselves a great weekend. Remember, LQ's birthday is coming up in a couple weeks. It's only on June 13th. <laughs> and uh, everyone have a wonderful weekend. And as always, everybody, keep cracking that wax. Keep cracking that wax.